And that's it. Now we have Cinderella on our egg. And now we'll make her hair and then we'll get her body. So move her off. Okay, so I have a little more yellow Play-Doh and we're gonna roll it out. And I put the medium rings back on because I want this to be a little thicker. So we'll roll that out. I might turn it. Roll it again. Awesome. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna cut it out. And I think I'm gonna leave the, the paper on. So let's move, let me get it up off the table. Gently lift it and the paper will kind of hold it together. And I'll pull the egg back over. And now this, I'm gonna just gonna eyeball it because it's gonna go right in the middle. Just like that. And now let's peel the paper off. And you can use your knife to kind of tap down the Play-Doh so it doesn't peel up with the paper. That helps. Cool. So our hair is on and we can see this line. See the line in there? So we know it's a separate piece. Now to put the second line in, you know, this line right here, I'm going to just freehand that and I'm going to come off of this curve and just kind of draw kind of where I think it should go. And that's not right, but <laughs> I kind of drew it a little too not round enough. But who's going to know? I think it looks fine. Cool, so we have Cinderella's head all done. Now let me move her off to the side. Now it's time to work on Cinderella's dress and her arms. And we're gonna make all this as one piece and then stick it on our egg. So here's the first template again. And I'm going to just cut this off and oh, we forgot about her earrings. Let's put her earrings on right away. And we'll do that really quick. I'm gonna use the blue Play-Doh, the light blue for her earrings. And I'm gonna do it the same way that we kind of did her eyes. So I'll pull off two little, and her earrings are really tiny too. I'm gonna make two little balls of blue Play-Doh. Try to get them the same size. That looks good. Let's pull our egg back. And now if we're looking at, let me pull. Now if we're looking at um, our template here, look at the earrings are right at the edge of where the hair is. So I think we can pretty accurately stick those on without having to do any crazy stuff. So we just kind of stick them on there. And kind of delicately push them down and we're done. She's got her earrings. Awesome. Okay. Back to her, her dress now. So again, I'm going to cut this out and I won't make you watch the whole thing. I'll cut it out and then I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we cut her dress out and let's take a look at our big picture again. So we have the dark blue and we have the light blue and then we have some more of the flesh colors. So what I'm gonna do is use the dark blue to make this big shape. I wanna get the whole big giant shape in one piece and then I'm gonna put the little pieces on top of the big piece. So let's do that. So I'll take the blue, 
big blue piece. I might need a little more. Cool. Okay, and then I'm going to use the medium rings again to make it a little thicker. And that'll keep it together a little bit better when we move it onto our egg. So I'll roll it. And sometimes the Play-Doh rolls out weird like that. Is that going to fit? That'll fit. But I'm going to turn it. So... Awesome. Okay. So now we'll just, again, gently tap that down. And now we have a template we can trace. So... Cut that out. And one thing I like to do when I'm cutting like uh, a little more complicated shapes, I like to start in the corners and cut out of the corners. But however you want to do it. And then we've got kind of this scallopy thing going on and that's it and we'll lift this off and then we will oops, I got a little piece there and then we'll carefully peel our paper off and there's our shape it's kind of like making a cookie, you know, like cutting it out with a cookie cutter. Only you're the cookie cutter and your knife. Cool. Okay, now let's take a look at our picture again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six little blue pieces here. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these two shoulder pieces and then instead of cutting these four individual little tiny blue pieces I'm going to cut them out as one big shape and then I'm going to lay the arms over the top of them. How does that sound? Let's give it a shot. So I'm going to put my little rollers on now, my, my thin Sleeves. You know, get the light blue. And we don't need tons of it because it's going to be pretty thin. And I guess we got to cut our shape out, don't we? Let me roll this quick. I'll roll it over here. It can be tricky when you're rolling close to your finished piece. You've got to be careful. Cool. Okay. So now let's just cut. I'm going to use my knife again. I'm just going to cut out this shoulder piece. Stick it on and cut it out. And then we'll just kind of peel it off. <clears throat> and again, I think I'm going to just leave it on the paper. And then orient it. Now the edges should line up just like that. So tap it a little bit and then peel the paper back. Get a little tappy. And that's it. We got one piece on. So since the other side is the same, I'm just going to pause it here and then I'll be back in a second. 
Okay, so I got the other shoulder piece on, and that looks pretty good. So now, let's cut out these bigger shapes here, and I'll put one on and we'll see how it goes. Roll out the play-doh a little. So as you can see, I cut this shape out and I just cut it right through the, the hand and off the edges. So now it's just one big piece. So I'm gonna stick that on and cut that out. And kind of cut around it and then you can kind of peel it over peel it away. Makes it a little easier. And then again, I'm going to lift it with the paper on. And now I'm going to stick it into place. And now this is going to get a little bit trickier. Oops. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but we can put this on there if this will help you and for placement. So if you just stick that on there and then stick our shape on and there it is. So now again, kind of gently as I'm kind of tapping the Play-Doh down as I'm peeling off the paper. Cool, so let me cut the other side out and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here's the other side. And we'll cut that out. And gently get that in place. Now, those two parts, as you can see, should be almost touching. And they're not quite touching, but we can fix that. So I just can take the paper off. And we can kind of gently, if you can use your knife a little, or your tool a little bit, but if you just kind of press this, It'll kind of stretch the Play-Doh and fill in that gap. How's that look? That looks pretty good. And also, if you're if it's on if it's not quite on the edge, you can also kind of press it, and the Play-Doh will kind of roll over the edge a little more. So you can do a little manipulation when it's on there. Cool. Well now, we have to cut the arms, but I messed up the arms, I cut them off. So that's why we're gonna use our second template. So now we can get the arms again, and we can get her neckline. So let me cut out her neckline first. So we're all done with the blue, I think. So I'll put that away. And I'll get out a little more of our flush color. And we definitely don't need that much. So I'll just use a little. And here's our little neckline part. So we'll just tap that on there and cut that out. Peel away the excess. And again, I'll leave the paper on for these little tiny parts. Now this one just kind of fits right in the middle at the top here. And it should hopefully go right in between there. just like that. All 
Well, that looks pretty good. All right, now all we need to do are the arms. So let me cut out her left arm, <laughs> my right arm. Okay, and then our arm, once we cut it out, should go right here. Now, one thing we could do, since this Play-Doh is kind of thin, and we want her arm to lay flat, we could put her arm right there, and then we could cut out the blue very carefully. Score it like this. Peel the paper away and then remove the blue part. And now her arm will fit right in the middle. So let's try that. So put the arm down. It's kind of like making a gingerbread house a little bit, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. At least I enjoy it. Okay. So again, I'll leave the paper on. And oh, I kind of messed it up. Did I mess it up too badly? I think I might have. Yeah, I kind of, when I was trying to get the arm off, I kind of messed it up. So let me peel this off. And this plate is a little sticky, so it wants to kind of stick. So, yeah, that's not too bad, but let me make a new one. That's the nice thing about Play-Doh. So I'll peel it off and cut a new one. Oops, stay on there. There we go. Now, if I can gently lift it up. Cool. And pop it into place. And very carefully peel back the paper. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay, time to do the next one. Okay, so I cut out the second arm, and again, I'm going to kind of gently lay the paper template on top, right where it should go, and then I'm going to slice through the blue. right where the arm is going to go. And then I'll peel this back. And then gently pop off. Ooh. Ooh, that one's coming. Come on. There we go. So you can just gently kind of pop it off. I left a little bit of excess, but that's okay. So now let's just take our template and lay it down. Gently 
pry it off our table and stick it into place. And gently take our paper off. Tap it down a bit and we're done. Thumb got a little wonky. That's better. And that's it. We did it. So there is Cinderella's dress in her body. And on the key, on the keychain, you can see there's a little white um, uh, detail right there. I'm going to leave that out. That would be just so hard to, to do. It's like her slip, I think, underneath, um, or her, just part of her dress. But I'm just going to leave that off. That would be a tough one to get on there. So now let me move my cutting board out of the way. And now we have to gently lift up the rest of Cinderella, just like that. And pull her egg over. And then put her bo body together. So just, you know, I'm just eyeballing this. It should just kind of go pretty much right in the center. So just like that. Now we see a little bit of blue by her neckline, but we can just kind of push this up a little and it'll kind of cover it up. Same with her shoulders. So there we go. So what do you think about that? Check out our Cinderella Play-Doh Surprise Egg. I think that turned out pretty good. So I am going to um, set it up and then I'll take another shot of it standing upright. So here's our Cinderella egg all stood up and finished and I think she looks pretty good. I think she looks just like the key ring. So I hope you enjoyed watching this one or two or three or four part uh, tutorial. I'm not sure how many videos it's going to end up being, but um, thanks so much for watching. I hope it helps you make some Play-Doh eggs of your, of your own. Now, you don't have to make them just like I did. Um, I'm not saying my way is the best or the only way. It's just one way that I personally like to make Play-Doh surprise eggs. But um, I think you could use some of these techniques and come up with some other really cool ways to make Play-Doh eggs. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to post them in the comments below. And I really look forward to any Play-Doh eggs that you make in the future. And if you do make any Play-Doh eggs, let me know and I'd love to take a look at them. And you could um, contact me on Instagram or send me a comment or uh, send me an email. You can find all my details on the about page of my channel. So thanks everyone for watching. And if you like these videos, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more tutorial videos, but please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and look for my Play-Doh eggs in the future. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you later.